Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we are doing something that I love to do. However, I might have um, recorded once, maybe. I can't remember. But anyway, today we are going thrifting. And the places that we'll stop are at the Restore, the Habitat for Humanity store. We're going to stop at Salvation Army, and we'll probably stop at several different um, uh, Goodwills. So anyway, there is nothing in particular that I'm looking for. Um, if I do find, say, a wood cutting board, I did do some research about how to sanitize wood cutting boards. So I feel comfortable that if I do find one that I like, I am going to pick it up. Otherwise, it's just to look because I love doing that and I thought I'd bring you along. So come on, let's go. Okay, here we are at our first stop, the Habitat for Humanity Restore. So let's see what they have inside. Now, I won't be speaking because usually there's music, so I will have my own music over this, but we'll recap at the end of the video.
Okay, so I did not expect the Habitat for Humanity, the Restore store, to be so fruitful. Again, I was only looking for a wood um, cutting board. However, I went in there and I downloaded Google um, Lens. And when I started looking at some of the products that they had or the merchandise they had, and I searched these products, I could not pass them up. And I can't wait to show you what I got. The items are just so cute. So let's go into Salvation Army now. Okay, so the Salvation Army really didn't have anything. Everything was kind of just like thrown out there. And um, so I did take some video. I did find four chairs. I'm looking for some dining room chairs because the chairs that I have are not stable at all. And it doesn't matter how much we've tried. The table that I have is absolutely so sturdy and it's a nice table and I'd hate to get rid of it, but the chairs are honestly crap. So. Anyway, I did find some chairs that I think I can reupholster and paint. And um, they told me that they would be $15 each. So I have to think about it. And because I know myself, I'll buy them and I'll never restore them. Um, but I'm trying to be better about stuff like that uh, this year. So anyway, I'm going to think about it. I'm going to another goodwill and um, people are starting to pull up and we'll see what we can find there.
Okay, that Goodwill was a total bust. It was so crowded. And there was this one woman who kept following me and wanting to talk. And she was very, very sweet. But I was like, I just wanted to look, but I couldn't look because, again, it was so crowded. And I just didn't see anything. Now, maybe you guys caught something uh, that I didn't see. But anyway, I think I'm going to now head home and show you what I got. So let's go back home. This is crazy. I don't know what I'm looking for, okay? I just, whatever I see, whatever talks to me, I pick up. Um, the style of my house is basically whatever I like, I buy. And I really don't buy that much because I don't like collecting a lot of stuff. However, this Goodwill, I just picked up two pictures. One spoke to me, doesn't match anything in my house but I don't care I loved it another one I looked it up on Google Lens and the uh, um, a painting exactly like it is worth a lot of money I will put pictures of everything that I found that have come up on my Google Lens search I'll put everything up and I did get a couple of other little pieces and um but i'll show you so today was a very very productive day i honestly did not think that i was going to get anything honestly i didn't want to spend the money to get anything other than the cutting board but i just could not pass up these things and just the value of what i picked up compared to what i paid for it it was such a deal. I couldn't believe it. So if you are a collector or a reseller, please let me know in the comments if I did well or not. And give me suggestions on how to decorate these items that I'll be showing you. So let's get back home so I can show you, um, give you the haul of what I purchased. Okay, it's time for the haul. So the first place that I went to was the Salvation, no, 
it was the um, Habitat for Humanity, the Restore. So I picked up a couple pieces and again, I just want to say I do not know anything about collecting. I don't know uh, the value of anything. However, I did download the Google Lens app and I used that as a reference for some of the pieces that I picked up. And I think what I got is good. And again, if you are a collector or a reseller, please, please let me know how I did down below in the comments. So first thing, every time I go to any of these uh, thrift stores, I always look at the frames because I just think it's ridiculous, the price of frames nowadays. And I actually like the older looking frames. Um, frames that are like, uh, that, uh, like light gold, brassy, the heavy duty ones. But anyway, I knew that there was two pictures that I wanted to reframe. So I found these and again, I don't care if things match, if they don't match. I just pick things up because of how I like them. So the first frame was this one. We could either use it this way, this way, and it does have the thing to hang it either way, but I'm going to put it on my bookcase with a picture in it, and this was only $2. So I thought this was really, really cute, and the picture that it's that's gonna go in it, I think will look beautiful. The next one, again, don't match, but maybe if I put a little bit of gold on this, it could. Although, here we go. So it's a, I think it's a wood frame. This one was only a dollar. And look at the packet, they're in great shape. So I don't see why I should go to a store and buy a similar frame for $15 when I can go to a thrift store and get it for a dollar. But see, putting them together, they really don't look bad together because this has a little bit of, looks like it's gold right down here. And again, I don't care. I just like them and that's what I'm gonna get. I think that's what it is, is things should be, uh, you should buy things that make you happy, not necessarily what everybody else is buying. And I've just never really fallen into the trends. I mean, I have some things that are, in the trend, but then again, I I don't. I, I just found out that all of the art that has lettering or words on it is out of style. It's not cool. Um, it's out of uh, the style for home decor, but I still have a couple pieces that have lettering on them. Now, the next piece is a dish. Again, this is not anything that would match anything in my house, but I, I looked at it and I thought, I it, it looks so unique. And I thought, you know what, this would be kind of cute to put out in the spring. And so I passed by it and then I something told me, just go back and get it. So I picked it up and it's this dish. And on the back of it, it says, Turl. And when I looked the set up, I didn't see this exact dish or plate um, or serving platter. I did see a set on Etsy that was pricing out at $336. And I did see dishes. So I would assume this was $10. I don't know if I overpaid, but everything in um, the Restore store, Habitat for Humanity, Everything was either 25% off or 20% off. This was 25% off. So I guess that would be like, what, $7.50 that I got it. Um, and uh, let me see. It's got a number on there. It says the number engraved in it looks like 5299. I don't know if that means something. But anyway, I picked it up. I love the size of it. And it just feels so good. The texture on here, but then the back is very smooth. And I'm guessing, again, please tell me, 
I'm guessing maybe this is a value between $25 and $45. I don't know. So anyway, I picked that up because I thought it was beautiful. And then the next thing is picked up they had two of these and this one was less stained and it was less cracked inside and i don't really have any blue in my house but i was hoping that i could for spring put in some blue colors and stuff like that so i saw this little picture there was two of them and as i said there's no, not chipped, it's in perfect condition. And this one was $2, but again, it was on sale, I think 20% off. And here is the marking of it, and it's made in Japan. Let me see what it says. I can't really, my eyes, because I've worked on computers all my life. Um, my eyes are just, and plus I'm old. So let's see what we have here. I'm sorry if this video is long. I don't want it to be. But honestly, I can't read it. But here's the logo, if you can. And I looked this up, and it is made in Japan. And I will, when I, I'll put a picture of how much it was valued at in uh, when I looked it up on Google Lens. So I picked that up. I thought that was cute. And then I saw this. Again, not that much. But I looked at it and it's so heavy. It's this little planter. And I thought this would be so cute in the kitchen next to my stove. I just loved it. And this one I got for $4, but again, I think it was 20% off or 25% off. So um, I'm gonna clean it up, like wash it out a little bit. And I don't know, maybe put it on the counter and put some wrapped candy in it or something, or even a little plant in there. But I just thought it was too cute to pass by. And it is substantial, it's very heavy. Okay, and then the last thing, that I picked up from the Restore, I'm trying to get the receipt, the Restore store, is this picture. And as soon as I walked in, I saw it and I thought, oh, that is so pretty. It's beautiful. It just kind of reminded me, I don't know where this town is, but it kind of reminded me of Italy. Um, and this picture was $20, but all the artwork was 25% off. So I picked this up and I thought maybe, actually, you know, this plate and this match, the colors both match. So maybe these will be grouped somewhere together. Please tell me how to decorate these items. I have a little hutch in the dining room. I have a bookcase in the living room and I have my kitchen. My kitchen's not really that big, but anyway, I can probably place it somewhere in my kitchen. Um, so anyway, now with everything that I bought at Restore and everything that was on sale, all of those pieces, two frames, this item, the dish, the pitcher and this little creamer all came out to $28.20. Oh, let me see. Make sure my credit card information is not on there. $28.20. So that was that. I was tickled to be able to find those items. Then I went to another Goodwill. Some of these Goodwills were so crowded already. Like, I started out at, I think it was 9.30 this morning. 
and it was just, it had already gotten so crowded. Uh, by the time I did my last Goodwill, uh, I couldn't, I could barely film because it was so crowded and people were just everywhere and talking and the music was loud. Then the next, um, so anyway, I went to one Goodwill, they didn't have anything. I went to another Goodwill and again, remember, I was going out just to find a cutting board. So I went to this Goodwill and I found this cute little jug and uh, the cashier was so cute, it was a young man. And he's like, oh, that's so cute for spring. And I said, yeah, that's why I picked it up. And actually I could use it in my house because it does go with the colors in the house. And he said, oh, you could put little flowers in there. And I, I agreed. Anyway, this little guy was only 99 cents. So that was good. And, um, oh, I just noticed it has little tiny, tiny chips, but who cares? I mean, you set it out like this. You can't even tell that there's really chips. So for 99 cents, I thought that was a, a steal. And then I found this big cutting board. And this cutting board I got for $4.49. I wanted, I have a really big wood cutting board and I have plastic cutting boards, but I wanted a nice wood cutting board that wasn't too big because again, my kitchen is small, so I don't have a whole lot of uh, counter space. And I just wanted something that I could rest up against the, the back wall or the, you know, the wall and um, pull out whenever I needed it. Uh, so anyway, I looked at this and then I put it down, I put it back down on the, the shelf and I went back to it, I put my glasses on and I saw that this is a Pampered Chef cutting board. So for $4.49, it was a no brainer. And this was the only cutting board in all of the stores. I went to, I think, three or four Goodwills. I went to a Salvation Army. And I went to, uh, actually, yeah, no, this is from Goodwill. Salvation Army is where I didn't find anything except some chairs that I might buy and have to reupholster and paint. So I'm not sure that I'm going to get them. I'll insert a picture of those also. But... I didn't get anything from Salvation Army, but for $4.49, I wasn't going to let this pass up, especially since this was the whole purpose of me going out. So I got that. Then, so that total for those two items, let me see, sorry, my hair is a mess. Um, with tax, it was $5.81. Then the last place... I went to one more Goodwill. Hold on a minute. I'm going to have to get it. And I don't know. I might try to sell these on Facebook Marketplace. Um, I don't do Etsy or I don't do eBay. Um, so I might try to sell them on Facebook Marketplace, but if I can't figure out how to style them, but I'm going to rely hopefully on you guys to help me do that. So the last Goodwill that I went to, um, again, this one was also crowded and it, it, the music was really loud. So none of what you see is going to have any kind, I'm not going to be talking and it'll, I'll probably just put some kind of free music over it so that you can see what I saw. And I tried to get as much as I could. However, again, it was very, very crowded. So first thing I saw was this. And I thought, well, it kind of, it, it's, it looks like it's bamboo. And I thought, uh, it's really not that pretty. But I thought for spring to put a plant in it, put it out on the front porch would be kind of cute. It's very nice. I mean, it's in great shape. No... Uh, chips, nothing. And then I turned it over and I saw that it was a McCoy piece. I don't know if McCoy is still popular or not popular, but I looked it up and I'll insert what um, I found on this piece. So I thought 
for $6.49. Let me go ahead and get it. And I did, I grabbed it. And I'm not sorry that I did because it's a substantial piece. The coloring is nice, it's not bad. And it's in great condition, great condition. Next thing I saw, and I don't think this plate, I don't know, has any value because I didn't look it up on the Google Lens, but I saw that it was blue. And with this picture, trying to do my, you know, spring for blue, uh, I saw this cake plate. And again, it was in perfect condition. I don't know if it's something that was mass produced. Maybe it was. Um, it was $6.49. I don't know if I overpaid on it, but I like the fact that it was short and it was flat right here, but had the detail around the edges. And I thought this would be really, really cute as a display piece if I get a bunny rabbit and maybe some, um, I don't know, a basket and some eggs or something. I could use this on my little credenza in the kitchen or here in the dining room as a display for spring and Easter. So I thought that was cute. I mean, who knows? This could have come from Hobby Lobby, Home Goods. I don't know. But if you know, please tell me. I am going to look this up on Google Lens. And if I see it, I will link a picture up there. <sighs> okay. As I was there the carts started coming out. The uh, employees were bringing out carts and um, this one lady brought out a cart filled with like old antique metal trucks, you know, like construction trucks for kids. And she also brought out a basket that had gold frames on top of it. And I knew that I wanted to add more gold in the house. And, um, there was a man, it was funny because there was a man standing like just beyond me and he saw her come out with this cart full of uh, gold frames. And um, I could see that he was like itching to get to the pictures. And um, anyway, I asked her and I said, can I look at these pictures? And she said, yeah, you can look at every anything. So I grabbed all the pictures and I was looking at them and I saw this and again, it kind of reminds me of like what it would, I don't know what city this is, but it kind of reminds me of Italy. So I picked up this picture and it's in great condition. Like it's in great condition. The frame, everything about it. And again, it might not be worth anything. I tried to do a Google lens search on it and there were some pictures that had like C um, pictures similar to this, but it wasn't this exact picture. So if you know anything about this picture, please let me know what city this is, um, what country, uh, please let me know. So anyway, I picked this up and I thought, oh, this is so cute. I don't care if it doesn't match, I'm going to buy it. And, um, so anyway, so I picked this up also. And then the last thing that I bought now this is light, but the frame was just so pretty and the picture was beautiful. And when I look this up, this is, I'll put the name of the artist and what uh, the picture is called. And so the guy looked at me and I looked at the picture and he looked at the picture and I could tell he really, really wanted this picture. But I just thought it was so beautiful because I thought, oh, this would be pretty in my bedroom. And so I, because I'm about to redo my room and I wanted old gold framed pictures in my room. And when I picked this up, I knew he was like kind of disappointed <laughs> that I didn't put it back. But anyway, here is the picture. And um, look at her. Isn't she beautiful? I couldn't pass it up. And this picture was $5.49. The other picture was $4.49. So this was $5.49. And look, it's in great condition. You know, back here, it's not very heavy, but look at how pretty this is. I couldn't pass it up. 
So anyway, oh, you know where I could possibly, except I don't want to ruin it. I was going to say I could put it over my stove, but I don't want to ruin it. I think I will put it in my bedroom. But anyway, so I will put a copy of what I saw on Google Lens regarding that picture and who the artist is. So that was what I got from, I think it was the second Goodwill that I went to. And let me see. There I, oh, it, no, this was the last Goodwill that I went to. And they asked me if I wanted to round up and I did. And so I spent $25 for the two pictures, the glass cake plate, and this McCoy planter, bamboo planter. So I don't think I did too bad. I mean, should I spend the money? No. Did I need to spend the money? No. But it was such a gorgeous day that I couldn't see sitting at home. And this is something that I wanted to do for a while. And so I did. Once I figure out how to decorate these, I'll let you guys know. It might be a little while because I still need to paint the house, but um, I will show you guys how I decorate these uh, once I get everything uh, put together. So anyway, thank you so much for coming with me, and I'm so sorry that this is so long. Let me know what you think of the haul, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.